time. Beer is good. Let's go drink some beer. Oh, folks, we got Dennis and Gun Rum Cask. Yes, now we're at episode 1.14. Yes. Yes. I'm not forgetting these. He's oh. keeping up. It's a miracle. Well, yeah, yeah. Not yet, but almost. <laughs> <laughs> we do He's know. Here's here's the glory of this one. We do know it's rum cask on this one. Yes. I, it doesn't say just oak. Yeah. We know it was rum. So I don't particularly care for rum, so I'm not looking really too forward to this one, but. I am. I'm looking forward to this. I know Sarah's looking forward to this. I'm a white girl. I like rum. Yeah. Uh, you know, That's sad. Happens. I like rum. You know, way way back in the day, me and me and Parrot Bay, we were great friends. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know, yes. so uh, you know, but that's 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 for another show that we can't even put on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, with this one, we're, folks, we're looking at, uh, I need to quit saying folks. I say that a lot. Yeah. Anyway, people. seven point people. People. Watchers. That's Interlopers. Viewers. Or viewers, yes. Anyway. No, you know what? Tell us what you want to be called. Yeah, what do you want to be called? Tell us what you want to be called. Let yeah. us know. Yeah. We, are, we, are all about, we are all about interaction. So let us know. Facebook. Yeah, yeah see? Well, interaction. what is there to say? Um... We have another oak aged beer, but it has been put in a rum cask, which makes no sense to me. But hey, that's what the bottle says. It says oak aged beer, but it also says rum cask. 57 days. This 57 is, days. This is a lot less time than it said in the oak barrels. So that almost kind of leads me to believe that the original was new oak. Maybe. That's possible. Yes, maybe, maybe they just. That is out. possible. I, I don't know, but I'm. I know, you know, just for me, I'm going to do a little bit more research on it, and I'm going to see what I can find out and see, you know, what the difference is in the days and why they do the original for '77, why they do this one for, right. you know, '57, '57, and, 57. and yeah, maybe there's a difference, maybe there's not. Absolutely. Well, there's all the way yeah. to find out. We're going to we're going to pop Hold and up. see, but you know, how about we have some yeah. zoom? We yeah. need some because that color, folks, is or people oh. or viewers, is not the bottle. Yeah, this that is a again, deep it's reddish a clear brown. bottle. Clear bottle, it's beautiful. Yeah, but it is it is a nice you know a nice reddish brown color. I mean, it looks it looks like a deep spiced rum. Yes, yes. When, when you look at it, that that's what it looks like. So I'm really really excited about seeing this one. So. Yeah, let's pop the top and see what we got. Yes, see the top and break it back. Since you're a rum man, oh, oh, oh that's what the bar <laughs> is for. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, bar wench, Amanda. All right, I'm out. Uh, that works. Oh, there we go. <laughs> One of these days he's gonna break the camera doing that, and I'm really gonna hurt him. Oh, that's beautiful pour. Oh wow, that's nice. That is a beautiful that pour. Is beautiful. Look at that. Wow! Wow! It's it's not moving. I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with this already. I'm going to a delicate pour because I want flavors. I was fairly delicate with it and still ended up with a little bit of waste up top. Yep, we're leaving we're leaving That's, a little bit again for Marla and Amanda. Yeah. She's gonna try because it. it's you know we you know, we share. We're not greedy. I am, but all know, the poor guys still. I've got just a, even as delicately as I poured it, I've got lacing as you swirl it in the glass and a little bit of an off white, pretty much a film on the top of the beer, but yeah. you know, it's still hanging around. Decent it, retention. Decent retention for sure. Um, hmm. Oh. I can oh. I got I got some fruitiness in there. Yeah. I can smell the rum essence. We've got the sweetness of, of the rum for sure. Yeah. The, definitely the sweetness of the rum. Yes. I'm going to give it a try and see it's, what I got. Yeah. It's mellow. I'm still looking at it because this, this smells better than I thought I was going to expect. So, oh, Jason, you, you hold off on the taste. You hold off. Oh, no. I'm looking at it. No, you're going to oh, have to no, taste you it. You need to try it. You may not be a rum man, but. That's. That's fairly impressive too. I'm, I'm liking it. It definitely has a rum wow. vibe. That's better than the original. That's better than the original. I'm liking the original better just because this has got a little bit of a sweetness to it that I'm not partial to. Gotcha. Makes sense. But it still has a great flavor. That's good. It does. It, it's got an amazing flavor. Here we go. 
We're going to give this to Amanda and let her give it a try. As you can see, she just, you know. Oh, I'm. I'm it has I've a. Got, wow. It's, it it's has great. an oakiness um, that just kind of stays with you throughout. Yeah. It, the aftertaste is very oaky. Yeah. Spicy. Rummy. I would almost say peppery Rummy. in a sense. The spice, yes. I'm, I'm really getting the spices in there, too. Yes. You know, I'm really getting them a lot. And it's not, but it's not like a. No one flavor is so overpowering no, it's, it's, that it tastes everything. It's it's very well blended. It's so well balanced that I I mean I'm just really in awe of this because I don't as I mentioned in the beginning I don't like rum, but the flavors it imparts into this beer is just fabulous. Yeah, it's, this is a great beer. Yeah, it's got a little. It really is. It's it's a, it's a great beer. Yeah, it does. Um, I'm really really happy with it. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I enjoy, you know, and, and again, it's, it's, it's creamy. It's, uh, it's, it has some body to it. It yeah. does. It really does. Oh yeah. It it's feels it's good not, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't just slide right down. No. You know, it, it, it catches and you can taste it, you know, and, you, and it's not like you just taste it in one part. You can taste it on every bit of your tongue. So yes. it's, it's really making me happy with this. I'm really enjoying it. There's a, a yes. little tingle when you first taste it, that I'm getting on the tip of my tongue. That's, Notice I'm that, doing this a lot. That's alcohol hitting your brain. That's probably the, <laughs> Honestly, 7.4, that's probably the alcohol. That's alcohol hitting your brain. I can feel that there's a little tingle on the tip of my tongue as I take a drink. And as I start to swallow, as it goes back, the tingle tends to slide as the flavor that's, expands. That, that's the thing. It stay, The taste stays. Yes. That's it not lingers. totally where I was going with that, but you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know sorry, Man. it happens. You know, uh, but yeah. Back to the alcohol. <laughs> Back to the beer. Back to the beer, Jason. The beer is what causes it. <laughs> it good measures. Back to the drinking. <laughs> you know, I can Sorry, folks. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. See, that's you know. Well, yeah. Overall, I'm at a nine. I'm at a nine. Right at a nine. Uh, nine. I'm I'm right there with you. I'm at a good nine solid on it because, you know, yeah. I, I enjoy it. I, I really do. I like I like the, the great blend, the, the balance of, of all the flavors on it. Um, but uh, a good solid nine on this. Oh, this, is a, yeah. this is a great beer. I mean, if I don't, if you're, I mean, even if you're just starting out drinking beers this is going to be a good beer for you absolutely yeah. you know you don't you don't have to be you know a, a veteran beer drinker to drink this beer because it's it's not going to you know give you the the, the sour face when no. you drink it no. there's no overwhelming parts yeah. to this beer no. whatsoever i mean it's what you taste at the start follows to the finish yes yeah. it's, it's, it's good it's, it's fantastic it's very good i'm gonna have to give it an 8.5 just because of the fact that it has that little sweetness yeah. that I'm not fond of. Right. right. But all in all fairness, like Jason said, the average drinker, the, the beginner drinker, could pick this up and not think twice Absolutely. about it. Yeah. I am not a beer drinker. I'm, I do not drink beer very often. I want to say this. If you are the beginning beer drinker, go easy on this one. Yes. Because it is a high-gravity beer. It's, it's a mid-gravity, I yeah. would say. About 7.4%, so you don't yeah, it, want to drink a shit ton of them. And you don't want to throw it back. It's right. not one that you want to just sit there and go, you know, tossing it back and drink as many as you can in one night. This is... Because you will fill it the next day. Yes, yes. you will fill it the next day. This is definitely a good slow sipper, slow drinker, um, average steady grade ability, if that makes any sense. Chicken and seafood. Yes, I can say that. White meats, chicken, yeah. seafood, mm -hmm. pork. Yeah. pork, pork, oh, barbecue pork with this. I was oh, thinking more goodness. along the lines of a pork roast. Okay, that's pork. That's pork. I, like I mean, pork. like a uh, like a pork loin. Yeah, I like tender pork. Loin. I like to pork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all good. So, yeah. God help us all. Nothing like pork. Well, well, folks, I'm Don. I'm Sarah. I'm Jason. If you don't like it, it's not our fault. <laughs> but again, you'll like this. You, you'll like it. You really will.
I like beer cause it is good. I drink 